All right, all right. So guess what I found? Beef bacon. Okay, so yes. And no, no. I can't really answer that many questions about the stuff. Uh-oh, did Jay, right when I start the vlog, Jan. Come on, girl. You know how the babies are, they like to bark at everything. But anyway, I found beef bacon. Look at it, this is what it looks like. That's really good, so it's beef, uh, it's bacon, that's not pork. It's beef. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not exactly knowledgeable, but, um, all I do know, this is really good. So when I was at the butcher, I said, Hey, how do you cook it? How, how do you recommend cooking beef bacon? Cause if I recall back in the day, I might've gotten beef bacon, like pre, um, like in the store. Like I don't, I can't, I don't even know. I don't even know. I can't even recommend which one to avoid, but anyways, that's the one you should avoid at all costs, which I'm not being able to sh share with you. But anyway, uh, he said, just cook it thoroughly, like longer than normal. You would normally cook bacon and I got a down pack. So I, I actually can cook this stuff pretty good, but I'm not sure if all beef bacon is the same. Okay. But I assume, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if all beef bacon is uh, the same, but we're going to cook it anyways today. And I thought it was a cute little idea to put you on beef bacon. I don't know. I'm trying to avoid pork. Anonymous reasons. <laughs> I guess. Not really anonymous. Mm. Well, that's a whole other topic. But this... Uh... This... Let me wash my hands real good, but this beef bacon is super, um, I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't know. I haven't seen very much beef bacon before. Um, the only kind I've ever had, I think, was uh, already, like I said, prepackaged in the store, and it did not turn out good. It was gross, so I'm not sure. Maybe wait until you find beef bacon in the butcher shop. Maybe that's better than, I don't know. But anyway, this stuff is, well, phenomenal. Um, I actually went back to grab some more because this probably is not enough for one sitting. Honestly, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to peel. I'll show you. It's kind of cool though. Like it's just a little bit different. This looks like, like the turkey bacon <laughs> or whatever. But, um, I don't know. I don't know what I can tell you that. You may or may not already know about beef bacon, but I'm going to show you what it looks like cooked up, and it's going to be absolutely delicious. Oh, that's right. I literally put an order in for two pounds. I said... Can I get two pounds? And the guy at the meat shop said, yeah, you get however much you want. And I was like, oh, sounds good. <laughs> All right, so basically, I'm getting it hot enough to where it cooks and a little less from burning. And it's gonna take a minute. I'm gonna cook it real slow, and like every, every other five minutes, I'm gonna flip the bacon, just so it cooks nice and evenly. All right, this little piece right here is done. <laughs> I just like to make the little pieces for me so I can eat them early. But I just wanted to kind of like show you, that's the texture that you kind of want to achieve. Aww. I'm not a pro at cooking beef bacon. I do my best. But, yeah, that's perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Boy, that's so good. Mmm. The thing is, is I can't ever find beef bacon 
like a lot. Like I said, I don't know. I don't avoid the ones that's in the store. If you can go hit your local meat markets and stuff like that and see if they can make beef bacon for you, I highly recommend it. That's what I, this, this is what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. That sizzle right there is absolutely perfect. Slow cook it. We're in no rush. I forgot to check the eggs in the grocery store. I just grabbed the pack and ran. Thankfully, all the eggs are perfect. I got lucky. <laughs> Oops. I was just thinking like, oh my gosh, if I open this pack, I've had, I've actually had a pack where I opened and every single one of them were busted. And then I went back to the store and I went back to their refrigerator and we opened the majority of their packs and they were all busted. <laughs> but I went back and told them and cause I was going to get, get a new case and they were all busted. And I was like, oh shit. Like, oops, somebody dropped your case. <clears throat> I'm gonna get my hands a little dirty. Kitchen. That's your Rocco. Rocco is in the kitchen. Zuzi in the kitchen. Always gotta be watching over everything I do. Everything's looking real close. I'm talking about this is about this is kind of like exactly how I want it. I want those the little the fat just a tiny bit more done. Look at that. We got it on two two forty right here. But this is like the little convection thing. So I don't know. Just judge it on your specific uh, oven, whatever. Oh, look, that's a good, there you go. Okay, yeah, see, we're gonna try to get just those end pieces just a little, let them just cook just a little longer, maybe flip it, and then it's done. What's up, Rico? Helper in the kitchen. Hi, <laughs> Marshall. Helper in the kitchen. <laughs> Zaza, are you a helper in the kitchen? Yes, girl. <laughs> All right, so I pulled the first batch off. Okay, so one of the good cut pieces. This is it, right here. You want it to, you know, look just like that. 
I almost dropped it. I still would have eaten it. Anyway, something like that. That's that's the kind of texture I prefer with that. But uh, here's one of the weird pieces that look like looks like at literal jerky. Like it really looks like jerky, doesn't it? It's a good shot right there. Versus this one that looks like oh, I guess they both look like jerky. Who am I kidding? But I think you can see the difference. <laughs> the last bit is going. And we're going to start on the duck eggs. Delicious, creamy, and rich duck eggs. Doesn't get better than that. Oh. Last couple pieces coming right up. We're going to have a snack tonight, a snack tonight. Just call me Mullet Mommy. And when I looked away, does that mean I'm not serious about it? Let me look you in the eyes. Call me Mullet Mommy. Thank you. I guess it only applies when I'm when I have the mullet going. I mean, if I don't have the mullet going, you don't have to call me mullet mommy. But <laughs> but I like the sound of it. Okay, maybe I should quit yapping and get some cheese going because I want the presentation at the end to be a perfect. So today we're going to. Put cheese on top of the eggs. I love cheese. We love cheese on our medium, medium eggs. This is a truffle gouda. Really good, smooth, creamy, all that jazz. I like anything with truffle. I'm just a huge truffle. It's such an expensive taste, but. But it's good. Alright, I'm pulling the last pieces. I'm gonna give those pieces just another minute. Let's get some cheese going. done cooking and you got that tar stuff on the bottom of your pan I have a kind of a, a little trick I'm pretty sure everybody knows this but if you don't oh, I'm gonna put you on anyway take some water put it a little, little thin layer put it back on the stove and cook it cook it off of your pan just cook it off and you can wipe that bitch clean when I'm out on the property and I don't have water and I still need to cook and we haven't like filled our tanks up or something um, I just do that method I, I'll cook whatever's on there off of it and uh, just do a vinegar and water wipe finish and my dishes are clean <laughs> but anyway
hush, hush, hush. That was me. Hush. 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 That was just me. Basically, that's what it looks like after you cook cook it all, all that stuff off. I don't know. Just makes it easier. Being a camper, I gotta be cautious of what goes down my drain anyway. So um, I gotta go pour that down a toilet somewhere. But uh, yeah, I try to avoid putting like you know whatever the grimy stuff down the sinks of the RV. Okay, I need this clean because I need my, my little egg, a spatula. this is what I should explain tonight and what makes these duck eggs a little bit more uh, a little bit like uh, more special isn't really good grammar grammar but that's exactly what I'm trying to say uh, so what I did the other day when I made a soup I made um, beef broth uh, uh, I put femur bones in there and did bone broth um, but I cooked it for a long time and the fat that comes out of the bone marrow from in between the uh, femur bones I took that fat and scooped it up and put it right into a little jar. I mean, it's it's so delicious. So I have bone broth beef tallow right here and I'm gonna put it in there and I'm gonna use it to fry my uh, over medium eggs in tonight. Oh, shit! Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I do know. <laughs> <laughs> tips and tricks on how I make really good and kind of perfect over medium eggs and this isn't new I learned it from uh, a, a friend of mine and then she yeah she taught me but I also see it I've also seen it on like Instagram or whatever like going viral this but I don't remember when the last time I saw it on the internet. But anyway, you guys, I'm sure, already know of this trick. But when you do your over medium eggs, you put a little bit of water and put a lid on top or whatever, and it like cooks the top of the egg so you don't have to flip your over medium eggs. You've seen it. Yeah. That, that. Best tip I've ever received to cook perfect over medium eggs. I was like, oh no. Oh, shit. I was like, I will never forget that. And you don't need much, just a little, little bit. So we'll have that ready. Mm, okay, here we go.
right about now is when I like to add my water. When I see that going on around the edges. Covering bad boys up. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you don't have to overcook it kind of like I did, but I don't really mind the overcooked. Um, but anyways, there you go. And then you flop it on a plate and it's perfect. double up on truffle truffle sea salt that I'm about out of and truffle cheese nice little light layer cheese going right on top Perfect little snack, a little snacky snack. So this, beef bacon and over medium duck eggs. Yeah, can't miss. Some simple, whatever. Yeah, I'm not sure if I found any bake, uh, beef bacon quite this perfect, but this is it, right here. Good luck. Uh, good luck finding the good, the good stuff, but I would try your local butcher shops. Maybe they can put, you can put an order through and they'll make you some. Uh, something like that, but anyway. Ooh, taste test. Delicious. Top tier. Would you eat this? Be honest. Comment below. <laughs> Thanks for joining. See ya.